Actually, we don't need any boys. We don't need them. Club, screw them. <laughs> Yay, Sammy's troll. Yeah. Adorable. <laughs> I know he's really adorable. You know who was really adorable when she was a little child? Who? Olivia Hack. Me. Aww. Mm -hmm. I've known Tara since I was like what, like five. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't Four believe that. Yeah, crazy. my my very first series. Uh, was Hello Kitty in Toronto, and her dad, Michael Hack, was the voice director. And um, I don't know, I guess he'd go back and forth for yeah. chords. And one time he brought you and your mom, and you mm -hmm. were sitting in the studio with us. She was this big. Aww. And like little blonde ringlets everywhere. And Aww. everyone was so crazy for you. You were like the cutest <laughs> little. Oh, like, just so I was very small too. Like I'm so still small, but I was like, I was just, I was like a pocket child. Oh, <laughs> it was so cute. It did not surprise me that you went on to do some pretty cute mm. on camera stuff. We'll get into that later. First, let's introduce everybody. Okay, I'm gonna start with you, Olivia, since I already did. But um, tell everybody where they can find you on social media and who you play on Avatar, in case they don't know. Well, technically I'm on Twitter, but I never use it. So you can mostly find me on Instagram at the Olivia Hack. I am there. Um, and on Avatar, I play Ty Lee, who is a villain, but she is very perky and happy. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh my God. Okay, Jenny, your turn. Hey, so I am Jenny Kwan on social media. I'm very... Uh, slow to things but um you can finally finally you can find me on instagram mostly at jenny underscore kwan and facebook i guess which is like a dinosaur but i'm on there too um and <laughs> <laughs> and i play suki on avatar wow we're so happy to have you guys well i am Greg's so not <laughs> um do people ever ship your guys characters oh <laughs> ship together oh they should no. But they show. So, they ship I, my character with uh, Great Lyle's character, Azula, mm -hmm. because both they like that little toxic relationship lesbian thing, which I'm here for. I'm here for it. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And people are always like, you know, it's just not really a healthy relationship. I'm like, well, not all relationships are healthy. <laughs> so like representation for everything you know i don't oh, know most of, the, most of the big ships in pop culture are not healthy relationships yes, yes. joker and harley i don't think so yeah um <laughs> okay so they they ship you with gray's character what other character they ship me with Sokka, i think right really? um yeah because oh. tylee's a flirt right she's very much hey. like me yeah. And totally. so she flirts with all the boys. So she has that little thing with Sokka at one point where she's like, let's dance. And like, they're fighting. And I don't know, you know, I mean, she's, I mean, she's not that picky. She's really not that picky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love Who that. do they ship you with, Jenny? I am part of the, um, oh gosh, how is, I? it's escaping my mind. I'm mainly shipped with Sokka. So it's Suka. So like Suka, people okay. start asking me, I'm like, what, what is this? And someone had to explain it to me what all these ships were, but mainly Suka. And that's what people want to see. And I'm like, that's, I'm fine. What's with like that. the weirdest thing you've seen online, um, oh. like illustrating those ships? I oh. mean, tar come on. I mean, come on i mean we swear on this show so you're allowed to swear. I, we wow. do okay i mean full on like well my character has an enormous rack and so <laughs> of course on the Lucky. internet that racks get that rack gets like exponentially larger and so giant rack <laughs> and then with gray's character you know there's some lesbianic shit happening there's basically yeah bo booby touching art yes 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 and more. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny have you, you, have you, like you haven't looked up? Have you looked up the porn for your character? You know, I'm you going to find the porn for your. I. Characters. I mean, now I'm very, very interested. But Don't do I, it. Don't do it. 
Oh, by the way, it you can't exists. Unsee any of it? You can't unsee. No. It. Oh well. Okay. See, I learn something new every day, you guys. Like I, I'm telling you, it's like the fans know all this stuff. I just learned this. I, not that I couldn't imagine that it, it didn't exist, but I just never thought about it. You know. So. Oh, if there's something on the internet, it's been it'll be there. I know. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And also Rule Thirty Four. If it's a girl, that they have a guy version and. It's Wait, what's that? What do you the mean? Do you know the rules of the internet? No. So no. There are internet rules, and they're mostly filthy. <laughs> um, but rule 34 is like any girl character can be a guy character, any guy character can be a girl oh. character, and they all can ship each other. And anyway, it's, oh. all, it's all kind of crazy. Um, okay, what about at – Like my character could be a guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very modern. Yeah. Okay. If you put, all if right. You yeah. It is your fun. character and rule 34. You'd see all kinds of fun. Interesting. Okay. See what you learn the, when you come on the ship. The more you know. know, the more, you know, um, okay. what about at cons? You guys meet people that, um, live their lives or date or, or you can even just tell like a fun story of someone cosplaying your character at a con. Absolutely. I mean, it's just my favorite. Like the cosplaying is my, people ask me like what's my favorite part about cons is and a it's meeting the fans right because like everyone I always say like you're meeting everyone on their best day or a lot of those people you know where it's like maybe they feel disenfranchised or they don't feel like they belong and then you get to have this really special moment with them you know and it's also kind of like Disneyland where people are just they want to be there you know so it's just naturally good vibes anyway but yeah I mean so when somebody shows up cosplayed as Ty Lee, I always give them a free print. Like that's my thing. And then I have these little like Ty Lee stickers. So I give them a sticker too. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just magic. It's just magical to me. I, I Yeah, I don't know. Jenny, do you have I like a, a cosplay story? Yeah, I mean, I think it's every time, man, these people who come up, they, I can't believe it. They make the best and the most intricate Suki cosplays. And I was at one of the- Well, yours is cool too, because there's makeup Absolutely. Involved, like a lot of Absolutely. face Absolutely. And um, this one girl came up to me and she was shaking and, and crying and just, mm. you know what they shared. I mean, it's like, you've changed my life. You, you know, like I, it got me through this time. And I was like, wait a minute. I just voice this character, but I'm so glad, you know, that this has affected you how it has or else I wouldn't be here you know so it's just it's really moving sometimes and uh sometimes it's crazy too <laughs> as we all know mm -hmm. I yeah. agree I agree it's such a special way to give back to the fans and absolutely hear them tell stories like oh yes you got me through my parents divorce absolutely I'm depressed till I met this character no. it's not till those moments to you actually realize how much your character affected someone in real world situations absolutely i had this one person i was doing cameos and she was telling me during the pandemic she didn't get out of bed for three months she literally would just stay in bed and she was watching avatar she was watching avatar you know and how suki has affected her life and like getting her through this and then and i was like whoa you know and then just a few months ago, she had texted me. She's like, Jenny, I'm so much better and I'm getting married and here's my fiance and sent me pictures. And it just was mm -hmm. like, whoa, you know, so be able that. to have a small effect on someone's mm -hmm. life like that. It's I agree. Wow. Beautiful. Um, and they give us so much credit, like that we I know. wrote it. Like, I, know. I didn't write it. I know. Well, it you does know? show you how a important voices are because you know sometimes mm. lawyers negotiating contracts don't think the voices matter, but mm. um, <laughs> of course they do. Of course, you are a conduit for this character. You mm. are a collaborative force right. in bringing this character to life, and that's you know one of the things you were put here to do, and to be able to give love back to these people at cons is like really special or like you said on cameo um there was like a big resurgence of avatar over COVID. i feel like in the yeah. beginning right because yeah. my, kid, my kids got into it in the beginning mm. blew our minds yeah like especially you know because you've been doing this forever too like before the internet like you would know a show is popular because it would keep getting renewed but you couldn't, you didn't quite know how popular in terms of pop culture and all that stuff, because there just wasn't that feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, I knew Avatar was popular when it came out, but it was planned to only be three seasons. 
and from the beginning. And so we only did three seasons of the show. So I didn't, I was like, right. oh yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it was like, it was very much planned to be like the book of earth, the birth of right. book of air and the book of fire done. Super specific. And so, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I was like, oh, the show got canceled after three seasons, whatever, you know? And then I hear people talk about in the past 15 years or whatnot, but yeah, there was something about the, and here we are, Dante Bosco is joining us. Yep. Um, but like the perfect storm of, hi Dante. Hey Dante. There he is. What's up y'all? Aw, thanks Aww. for coming on the show, Dante. It's so nice to see your face. It's been a really long time. I know. Good to see you too. We we're just—I was just hanging out with Great Ali. We were just talking about you, Tara. So it's good yeah. to see you too. Aww. And the girls, I—I I, I miss you guys, Olivia. Hi, Jenny. we love you. Hi. I just saw Jenny like a week ago yeah. doing something. Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, you it's missed fun. the little intro part. So tell everybody where they can find you on social media and who you play on Avatar. Uh, I'm Dante Bosco. I play Prince Zuko, uh, the Fire Lord of the Fire Nation. You, just, you, you can find me at Dante Bosco on most things or at Dante on TikTok. Thanks, Dante. Cool, Does cool. any of your characters ship with his character? No. Mm, no, no, I think right? so. Who's the I think Dante is the one who even told me what shipping was back in the day. <laughs> I was like, we were at a con. I was like, Dante, what's shipping? And he's like, let me let me break this down for you. Yeah, but it's a whole world. It's a whole shipping. Whole world. world. I have to look now. <laughs> People Maybe get super it. serious about the shipping world. I have a good time. I'm like the captain of the Zutara ship, yes. and uh, I'm always talking about it. But it, it, it upsets some people. But I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. With, I'm cool with all the ships. I'm cool with all the ships. What's like the coolest thing you've seen online or in person that's like shipping with your character on Avatar? I mean, uh, tons of art, tons of fan fiction with, with, with Zuko and Katara and Zuko and May, and then uh, tattoos, ta- mm, Zutara tattoos. That's right. Zutara, There's Zutara Tara. tattoos? Yeah, it's like the fire, it's like the fire nation sign with the water nation, water inside. It's cool. It's oh, like, I was like, okay. That's cool. That's like, that's heavy. So, <laughs> I mean, I even, at certain cons, I'll bring like Zutara pictures and I get all I'll get all the heat. I'll get all the smoke from all the yeah. non Zutara shippers. Yeah. And all the yeah. shippers. And you've made like Zutara sweatshirts and stuff. Oh too, yeah, I got a right, Zutara right? hoodie. Yeah. I have like yeah. for Zutara week I dropped a Zutara hoodie one time, which was you know sold out very quickly and people I'm were sure. excited about. I love <laughs> that. What's your favorite con story where people are cos- cosplaying as you guys? Or you? Oh, we already answered yeah, this question. Yeah. You're, oh, in the, you're in the hot seat now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what with the Zutar? So this is how crazy my Zutar shit because I have a poem about Zutar. You, you like know it? that you wrote? Yeah. Oh, it was, I ship Zutar even though I'm. I goes. I ship Zutar even though it's not canon because I'm a hopeless romantic. Some things are best left to be imagined. <laughs> oh, and Mike so I, the thing I love. Yeah, I think about about about, about ship, shipping is that. Uh, you know, it just, it, the greatest thing, as you guys all know, in this conversation, is like, we do a lot of things and it's our work and we're part of these great stories and that's really important to us as, as artists. But what really happens is when, you know, our work or like the things that we do become theirs. Yeah. Like the fans, when the fans take ownership of they it and they over, care yeah. so much, then you know we did something right. Mm. And so the greatest thing is like when people ship things out of canon is like, amazing because you you went further than the story you took the story to a whole new, another level you made it very personal to you and why it's personal to you and what and these things and i just find that super charming i'm into i'm into i'm into the canon ships i'm into the non-canon ships and uh and as far as con stories i mean crazy stories pick stuff. one pick one <laughs> i mean i've yeah, signed people's bodies so i signed people's bodies i have tattoos honor or things like that on on various people um i helped you know i was there to help someone propose to their wife Aww. which is very cool dang uh you know i've been around i mean i know the co-host i don't know where greg sipes is at, but i've been at crazy me, me and olivia been at crazy uh <laughs> cons with greg sipes and crazy things happen <laughs> do you guys want to share some of those crazy things uh, no, 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 to the girl. My memory yeah, my suddenly. Sad too. That was a long mind. time ago. I don't is know. Is there like a shipping <laughs> Dante Olivia Sipes story that we need to know about? Mm, this would be no. very, very good. Wow, no. Mm, I don't know if I believe that or not. Um, okay, do you have a favorite story? A fan or anything? Uh, 
I'm just. I, I, mean, I was at a con two weeks ago and I sent Dante a picture. Somebody had gotten a tattoo of Dante's face, basically from his <laughs> book cover. And it was half Rufio and half yes. Zuko. Yeah. And I was like, this is so intense right now. <laughs> wow. it's, yeah, Science characters are always crazy, especially as Rufio, where it's like your 15 year old face on someone's mm. body. Like, Hmm. Keep that part of your body clean for me. Keep it's that the clean. same face. It's the same face. I'll That's sign amazing. it. I'll That's sign amazing. it. Which part of the body was it, Dante? Do you remember? No, but I mean, <laughs> I've been lucky. Fans are very nice. Fans okay. Are, a bunch of different different cons people come. I mean, in, okay. I remember when I was in Texas and I signed someone's calf. And oh, okay, okay, that's that's cool. Did it, they get I a signed, tattoo? I signed it's a butt clean. once. I signed oh, a butt for keep a it. You signed a butt. Okay. Yeah, this but did they get it tattooed yeah. over the- She's like, I want to get your name tattooed on my butt. Will you sign it? And she was wearing this cute little skirt and she flipped it up and she had the cutest little butt. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I'll sign that. Nice. Yeah. And there's this one guy that was reach, getting- like, I won't sign bodies. I won't sign bodies. <laughs> oh my God. It does mess up the Sharpie. I realize it messes up the Sharpie. <laughs> the skin, the oil in the skin messes up my Sharpie every time. And it's like the end of that Sharpie. <laughs> it's all but- funny after that. <laughs> there's one guy, I think his name is Funky Monk. And I've seen him at a bunch of cons. And he's kind of like, like a crazy, you know, it's a crazy kind of guy. And he has all these tattoos on his back. And he wanted my ta- my my signature on his back, which is cool. I signed it. Then he's like, do you want to tattoo it? And I'm like, yeah. I, I, so I was going I was going to, but at the time I was with my assistant, Bridget. And Bridget's like, you're definitely not going to tattoo that man's back. <laughs> Stop that right now. You're going to screw everything up. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should. But I wanted to. He would have was his back all signatures? Tons of signatures. Again, his whole back was full of signatures. Wow. Wow. That's, That's intense. That's good. intense. Yeah. That's so, love. Um, okay, I want to hear a little bit about your avatar journey. If you and you guys can can choose whoever goes first, but like if you can remember auditioning and booking the part and um, maybe some stories about being in the studio early on, because it's really quite a phenomenon to have an anime show be so like mainstream media Mm -hmm. like on Nickelodeon I don't think there is any other um anime show on like a mainstream media like that so it's really sort of uh its own its own category right so do you remember the process of auditioning and getting it and some maybe reporting stories well it's kind of like the American anime in a way you know um I don't remember auditioning, but I remember my first two episodes I did to picture, right? So normally they animate to our voices unless you're doing anime and then you are doing it to picture. And in this one, I was like, I guess I was replacing somebody. I don't know. Um, And so I just thought it was kind of an anime dub. I had no idea. And then I also didn't know I was a bad guy. I just saw this little like pink girl and I was like, oh, she looks like she'd be happy and pink and whatever. And I didn't watch the show and I didn't read the scripts because I came in on season two. I know, I know, Dante. I'm a real professional over here. Uh, Um, But like, so I would get these scripts and it would be like Earth Bender, Water Tribe, like Fire Nate. I don't know, you know, so you just do that actor thing where you're kind of like, this is terrible, but like bullshit, bullshit, my line, bullshit, bullshit, my line. Okay. And so it wasn't until... 10 years later, whatever, I was at a con mm-hmm. with Dante and, you know, and, and, and I, I just thought they brought me this con because I was fabulous. I didn't know it was for Avatar specifically. And we were signing all this Avatar stuff. And I was like, Dante, is this, this is a thing? And Dante's like, yeah, Olivia, this is like a really big show. And, and <laughs> by the way, you're a bad guy. I had no idea. I thought I was a good guy the whole series, which is why she's so like chipper and perky. I had no clue. And people were like, what's it like to be the villain? I had no idea. I just thought, I thought I was a good guy. I have no, so that's why she's so like you, lovable. You didn't know the entire series no, that you were working no. on. You were, <laughs> no, I love that. No, story. I had no I idea. Cause she's not written like a bad that. guy. She's not written bad. I mean, I kind of love so, that, right? Because who's really a bad guy and what's their origin story and right. what's your definition of bad. And so you just played it for real. And maybe that's why. Yeah. And she's people. not really a bad guy. She's kind of like forced into servitude of kicking ass. So, yeah. you know. You're not really a bad guy. You're, yeah. just, you're a good guy. Just, a good yeah. girl in a bad situation. Yeah. Way to put it. Just like me. Um, just like me. <laughs> How about you guys uh, remembering recording? 
I you're mean, probably I were auditioning. I mean, we were early in the game, and uh, I'm not like you guys. Like, what is this? Like, literally, when I went in to read for it for the first time, they showed me the picture, and it was this ball headed, ponytail, scarred dude. And it was, ob- you know, they gave me the script. It was obviously anime inspired, Asian inspired, epic story. And I was like, this is not Nickelodeon, you guys. This is nowhere near Nickelodeon <laughs> land. Like, you're, we're literally at the Nickelodeon studios, which you guys all know, and all of and you're like, there's big murals of totally. spongebob and cat dog and you're like ah this is not what, what are they doing like this is never even gonna make it on air this is crazy it's kind of amazing it got made really. totally totally yeah and then i didn't even know I me mean, like the character's name is zuko and i was like i was like making a joke in the room like it's like danny zuko like danny <laughs> zuko rocking and rolling one and like, not you know uh but so we just did it and um I mean, little by little, like the show, I didn't, again, this is one that came out is before the internet hit. So we had no mm-hmm. clue that there was even a, a hit. I mean, I was doing another movie. I was shooting a movie, take the lead in, in Toronto. And I kept leaving like once a week to do the show remotely. And one of the other cast members who's like an adult. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, I do a cartoon for Nickelodeon. <laughs> he's like, what cartoon? I'm like, it's called, it's just this little kid's cartoon called like Avatar. The last airbender and he starts freaking out like what and he's like who are you and i was like oh, i'm prince zuko i was like what and he's freaked out so much this guy's like 20 something i'm like this is weird and then he ends up coming to one of the records with me and he's like just fanboying the whole time and then i remember being at um sundance film festival for another film and we're out there in the snow and i run to jason isaacs who plays general Zhao, mm-hmm. in uh you know on the show but of course you know everybody out there knows him as Lucius Malfoy along with so many other great villains that Jason plays and Jason we ran into each other in the snow he's like Dante that fucking cartoon man like what the hell I was like I know I was like we're here for movies and people want to talk about this cartoon and it that kind of stuff kind of really freaked me out not freaked me just like you didn't know because there was no like viral tweets on Twitter or anything like no one even had Facebook at that time we were just like this weird cartoon has become what? something that none of us really uh, understood. Well, that I was saying earlier before you joined, like it only went three seasons too. So I didn't even think it was that popular in a way because, you know, you do three seasons of something and then it's over and you're like, well, I guess it got canceled or I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we thought it was cool. I remember like Jack DeSena who played soccer and Mae Whitman who play guitar we would we would love and geek out on the story like oh my god you, you see what's going on in the store this is crazy this is weird and we, we were loving it as actors you know playing it out in the in the booth with no idea how the world was receiving it it's not amazing crazy yeah it's amazing you have and, and you had no oh. idea then how many lives you would have touched it's amazing it's i amazing. know what's crazy is recently i was at new york city comic con last year and you know, you're signing, you're, you're going through the lines and people are very cool and, you know, people are giving you, you know, I grew up with you, which is great. And this one guy comes up to the, to my table. And he's like, you know, I grew up with you. And I'm like, yeah, man, that, you know, I'm glad we were there for you and, and talking and whatnot. And then he goes, no, 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 you don't understand. And I go, what? He goes, no, you guys, you guys, you guys programmed our generation. I said, what? He goes, all of us, we watched Avatar what we learned in Avatar programmed our generation. Why do you think we're the generation that brought protests back? Why do you think Black Whoa. Lives Matter movement's going on? Why do you think, and I go, what? He goes, and I looked at him, he goes, we're just trying to get the world back in balance. And I was like, I mean, when the chills kind of went up my I spine. I literally got chills. Oh my yeah. God. And we just start having this crazy moment in New York, in the Whoa. madness of New York City Comic Con. Like, I'm looking at this like 20 something year old dude. Like, he's like, yeah, you guys programmed our generation and now we're trying to get it done. And I'm like, Whoa, that's fucking beautiful. What do you want me to write on your picture? <laughs> what do you want on this Funko Pop, man? Amazing. I love that story. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my God. How about you, Jenny? Do you remember your audition? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I feel like I'm such the dinosaur, but I literally, when I first got the sides or like the little, in, if people don't know, sides are just a part of a script, you know, for Suki. I went to my agent's office to record it. And probably like a couple weeks later, I don't re- even remember the, the timeline. I remember going to Nickelodeon and it 
just kind of like how Dante was saying, which by the way, I think you were there, Dante. I have this memory of, we were just like, hey, I, I can't remember, like in the, like waiting. Yeah, I think I was, I, I remember yeah. you there. Yeah, yeah, we were just like, hey, hey. But it, it was just like a circus, like, cause first of all, it's so colorful and you're like, whoa. And there were just a lot of people there. And so I go in and, you know, it's just the director, Andrea, and then, um, and then the creators and all this stuff, I do my thing and I leave. And next thing you know, it's like, okay, you're gonna record this character, sight unseen. They had like a little um, prototype of what they thought she would look like. But uh, what a lot of people don't know is at that point, you know, I was recording to just nothing, right? You, I, I didn't see her. It was just like how you record. Maybe sometimes they feed you some lines and you go through and then I would go and, they kept bringing me back. I thought I was only supposed to be there for one episode, which I was. And then they're like, oh, you're doing that show again. I was like, cool. You know, and I, at the time I was on the road and I thought, whoa, they're paying for studio time for me to record this in some little rinky dink, you know, town. And it just kept happening. And then when I would come home, most of my scenes were recorded with Jack and sometimes May, not so much with other people, but yeah, it was mostly Jack and I, and I always tell this story. He was underage at the time. So there was this one time where we had to do our love scene um, for Serpent's Pass. And he was just like on his phone and we're in like this little room and he was just like, he wouldn't even make eye contact. And I had met him like a few times and I was like, this kid thinks I'm into him. Meanwhile, I'm like Mrs. Robinson. So we're starting to record and it's supposed to be like love scene, love scene. And so somehow it came out that I, I think, I don't, I, maybe Andre was like, oh, Jenny was on a TV show, California Dreams. And Jack's like, what? And then he was like, then he realized how old I was. And then he was like, oh, you know, like, thank God, you know, she's not trying to get with me like some girl, you know? And so I told Jack that story. He's like, no, he's just nervous. I'm like, nah, you thought I was into you because you thought I was your <laughs> age. And yet he was like barely out of high school. So I always tease him about that. But now it's just fun to hang out because, you know, he's like an adult with a kid and just, obviously yeah. the guy. everybody, everybody grew know? up everybody grew up it's yeah. weird what about us jenny what about no us? i put my concealer on <laughs> <laughs> um do they ever talk about um a reboot or bringing it back to you guys they ever float that around dante I is no <laughs> i don't know I, 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 I don't know dante. Dante. well i'm getting I, his own movie totally. no i don't i'm not i don't know i'm i'm still Working for Avatar, me and Janet Varney do the um, the podcast, the, mm -hmm. the partner podcast, so a rewatch of the show. And it's Braving really, the Elements. It's called yeah, Braving the Braving Elements. The elements. And everybody's been plug on. It, plug in. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you can get it wherever you get your, yeah. wherever you get your podcast. I'm an like, official podcaster. And it's, it's there a hit you go. so many, Absolutely. there's so many fans out there that I think we, we broke the top three on entertainment, television entertainment podcast. It's always on the top 10. Out. Yeah, oh, so it's always on yeah. top ten. Wow. And we won some awards recently. And so and I, I love podcasts anyway. So it's and it's very unique to kind of go back over something you did 15, 18 years ago now and really like I never watch any movies or television shows or cartoons I've done. I never really ever go watch them that often. So to go back this many years later and really deep dive and watch mm -hmm. them even as a fan and get to talk to the cast members and the illustrators and the creators and the music people and and really ask all the questions that we really couldn't do while we were doing it. It's been very fascinating. But so I'm still under the, the umbrella of Avatar and, uh, and and Nickelodeon, but they did announce, you know, Mike and Brian told us in an interview year, oh, a few months ago that they were releasing these movies and now the movies, you know, there's going to be a Suki movie, it looks like. There's going to be a Zuko movie. There's going to be a another, who knows what else. And I mean, I'm here to cover it. I don't know anything beyond that. They're not trying to tell me nothing because they know like you have a big yeah. mouth, Dante. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> but I don't know. I have no idea. The good thing for Avatar fans out there is the stories are continuing. Mm -hmm. And so. And there I is think, a live action. In and there's a live yeah, action. Production. And, yeah. And I got to talk to those guys. I, I just read that they just wrapped first season of the Netflix live action. They didn't ask you to be on it uh we i mean i met with them we talked about some things we'll see what happens in the upcoming seasons i you know i don't know i don't it's one of those things like they they asked me some things but it's it's about the right character in the right moment i what i did get to do which i really loved i got to talk to the new suko dallas Lou, the young oh, kid cool. and before he went out there his people reached out to my people i was like can't you know is dante want to sit down and talk to dallas about the character and i was like of course man and it was, we really went over the character and my point of view of how I played it and 
you know, I said, look, man, me, you, and Dev are the guys that have played Zuko. And it's like, your turn, man. So, like, Aww. I wish you all the best. Like, go, run with it. And uh, don't worry about what we did, you know? I mean, <laughs> watch what we did, do, but right? it's your turn. It's like, it's your turn. Like, go to it. I'm, my oh. door is always open. My phone's oh, always, you know, sweet. here's my phone if you have any questions. How old is he, Dante? He's got to be, like, 20 or something okay. like that. Maybe yeah. 18, 19. He's, like, Exc- young, How exciting. Super yeah. young. Yeah, and, they're all uh, kind of young. I remember. Yeah, he's all pretty young. Right. He might be 19. I don't know. He's young. And then I saw some pictures of him on the set, and I was like, oh, dude, you, got, you, guys, are, cool. you guys are doing it. You guys are doing it. I can't wait. I mean, Does he sound like you, Dante, or no? Nothing at all. He doesn't really sound like me. I mean, okay. I, I, he has his own thing. He has his all own right. thing. All right. Dante's unique. It would be yeah, cool. that's. I was just going to say that. Yeah. yeah. Totally. It would be cool if you guys all had little cameos or something. In it that would be something. fun. I think they, wanted, they will ultimately want to do stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll I mean, see. they never did that for us for Teen Titans, which like is kind of a bummer, but whatever. Mm. I know it would be. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see all you guys on there. Yeah. I mean, um, even, Sipes is, be, you know, Sipes is just running up there somewhere to be crazy. Who's Sipes? Who's Sipes? Who is Sipes? <laughs> Where's Sipes? I don't know. You know, this is his show. Um, he's fired. Dante, do you want to be my new co-host on the Shipper Show? <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, he has a favorite question that he asks, but he's not here. So I'll ask it, even though I think it's kind of dumb because, you know, everybody seems to like it. It's Ship Mary Kill. Um, you can either answer as your character as or as you personally, who okay. you ship, who you'd marry, who you'd kill in the Oof. world. Oh, geez. Okay. That's easy. I mean, I'm, I'm a ship. I mean, we're gonna marry Katara. You gotta marry Katara. Ship, I mean, ship and marry. I mean, I do like Mako for people out there that don't think I like Mako. So I'll, I'll ship Mako, I'll marry <laughs> Katara, and then I'll kill Azula. I mean, what? Done. Done. That's natural. Easy. That's the natural Easy. order. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, you go, Jenny. I don't know. Okay, so I'm shipping, obviously, Sokka, because I think it would be crazy if I didn't. Um. And I'm killing someone. Wait, isn't there three? Or are we just doing two? You're marrying somebody. Oh, I'm marrying. Okay, I'm marrying Sokka for sure. And then... Side piece ship. Side piece ship. Side piece. Side piece for real? Side piece jet. Even though I was not not in the same episode, but when I rewatched it, I was like, "Mm, that's too... Jet Jet got something going on. Jet's hot. Jet can get it. Yeah, she wants... I got a crush on Jet. Oh, see, there you go. We all do. Um, And then kill. Okay, well... I have a couple, but I'm going to go with the obvious first. I'm going to kill the Fire Lord. She's not yeah. having it, right? Because yeah, I was Ozai's in, dead. You know, Ozai's yeah, gone. totally, because I don't want to be a Because he's a jerk. I mean, I have a few, but I'll, I'll keep it at that. You know, more to be revealed, I guess, if people want to know. Olivia, but. stretch those avatar brain okay, cells okay, of yours. Okay. Stretch those I... avatar brain cells. <laughs> I did. I did finally watch the show, Dante. I did finally watch the show last year. Um, I would ship Azula uh, because oh. I, I'm, I'm a fan of toxic relationships. Um, I would uh, marry Sokka because oh. he's just kind of cute, and you know Tyler we do like to dance. Think Sokka's cute with, always. She does, right? And then I would have to kill Suki because she wants to be with Sokka. There it is. There, it makes well, sense. You're dead to me, Jenny. You're dead. Makes sense. Oh, oh, I gotta watch my back. Take my knife out. I like, I like all that. That all made mm-hmm. a lot yeah. of sense. I like mm-hmm. that. Just clean, just clean. I like that. Oh, oh, look. Um, my co-host is here. Hey, get out. I was just gonna tell stories. I was about to say, let's just tell some Sipes stories once he, since he's not here. Sipes. Yeah. There he is. Brother, what's going on, <laughs> man? I miss you, man. I miss you too. Good morning. I just woke up from a nap. I had no clue you had a show going on today. Oh, yeah, you but, did. You did. You're in the group text with Dante. But, and yeah, but it was not scheduled. My assistant put it in. I didn't know. How do you, anyway, how, do you, how do you do anything or get anywhere? How do you, <laughs> I want to know how you function in society. How's the show been going? Well, it's been great. You missed Think a lot of really cool information. Take me from the top. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to tell you one Greg Sipe story okay. from a Comic Con. And th- we weren't even there at the same time. So I was in LA doing a play, but Sipes calls me up from, I believe it was New Zealand. Uh-oh. And he's like, 
bro, brother, man, I need to ask you a favor. I just booked, I think he booked like a guest on the show or a movie, or I don't know what you did, but he's like, I have to come back to LA. When, when you, you guys know when they fly you out to New Zealand, Australia, you got to do two weekends as part of the deal. So mm-hmm. he's like, can you fly out to Australia tonight? <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, no. He goes, no, or New Zealand. Can you fly to New Zealand tonight? I'm like, no, I can't. He goes, dude, bro, I owe you one. And I go, okay, can I fly out in like two days? And so I jump on a plane in two days. Jeez. He flies you back did? to, sh- yes, yes, I did. And he's Solid. like, I owe you one. I still have a Greg Sipes get out of jail free card for a con that I can't make. And if they give me a hard time, I'm like, I have the perfect person for you to call. His name is Gregory Sipes. Yeah, he ain't gonna show. He ain't gonna show. He might, oh, no. he That's might. And then, but this is the thing I show up at this con, right? And then it was just in New Zealand years ago. And it was, there was only, it was only going to be Sipes and then the, the dwarves from, um, from what's it called? The Hobbit, the dwarves, like Mm -hmm. they're one crew. They're called Hobbits. Hobbits, but not the Hobbits, but it was the dwarves, all the dwarves. And so they had their panels and they're all together signing, do their thing. And then there was Sipes, but then now it's me, right? (laughs) And so I would show up to the panel. And the other thing, if you ever feel in for Sipes, Y'all, if y'all never seen Sipes at a con, he has a music panel. So I did my regular panel, then I show up, I'm like, what's this other panel? And I roll up there and they're like, oh, it's it's the music panel. <laughs> I said, what? They go, you know, Sipes has a music panel. I was like, oh my God. They're like, what are you gonna do? I'm like, and then, you know, Sipes knows I had a band for years. I said, I, I could do some music. I ended up playing instrumentals from my iP- from my iPod at the oh time, God. and I ended up doing a whole hour music panel on the fly. Yeah, you like did. fucking yeah, Greg yeah. Sipes got me out of here, just rocking to these people in some friggin' hall just by myself. With your the magic of Greg Sipes, nice. magic of the phone. Press play. I hooked you Let's up. Go. I hooked you up. You hooked me up. You had me. Yeah, I was back in it. I was back in it. And I owe you, I owe you one for sure. I got, yeah, I got to get out of jail well, for Hi, to wingman, everybody. Now you owe him too because you missed Hi, the wingman. What's up, wingman? The baby, the baby, the baby Skuggity. boy. Where's my Skuggity boy? The yummiest man? boy in the world. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty delicious. <laughs> Dog blessed. Hey, Greg, Hi, do you Olivia. have any questions for them? Hi, Greg. Do you want to the entire show? Do you want to contribute to this show that you co-host at all? or? I was on the show. <laughs> I was Wait, on one of the. Uh, I played uh, the cousin too. Really? Uh-huh. Were you really? I was. Oh wow! Cousin. What in what? Wh- whose cousin? Somebody's cousin. <laughs> do you do you remember if you were part of any of the nations like fire, earth, or water? Oh air? man, I, I can't remember what. I'm part of all nations, brother. He's. I, I was just are. gonna say he's part of all his chakras. Greg Sipes is also an avatar for sure it's true another greg side story while he's here it's a i'm, is, oh I'm at the girl. spa i'm mm-hmm. at the spa with some friends which and it's here? a russian okay. spa oh, okay. it's a, and we're just kind of vibing and chilling out and then out of nowhere comes a very sweaty man in a very tight <laughs> swimsuit and a hat on from the sauna like very you know pixie magical fairy you know this energy comes out and he's just sweating and he a guy comes out he jumps in the pool comes out looks at me and then he's like dante comes up <laughs> gives me a big hug we have a moment he walks off all my friends are like who the fuck was what the fuck just happened <laughs> i was like you know he's this magical being that comes in and out of the world you know I, and I, he knows me <laughs> I do eternally, my brother. I miss exactly, you. eternally, eternally. Yeah, and, and your show is amazing, by the way. Just to keep it on track, you know, you guys are all over the place. Um, the show, the show is amazing that y'all are on, Thank and, you so and, much. and they they totally ruined it with the movie. I know it's something people. I never saw it. We don't even it. we don't even know what you're talking about. We don't what know movie? about that movie. We don't, we don't know, know a movie. Are I talking yeah. about the right show? No, you're talking about the right show. <laughs> it's just a movie the right that nobody show. watches. We just don't discuss the movie. We act like it never happened. No, I try to just be, I try to be political about it because I'm like, I don't want right. to ever I've never end, seen end up in front of M. Night, M. Night and be like, what's up with my movie? I heard you say, I didn't say nothing, M. Night. I didn't say nothing about the movie. I've I mean, never seen it. Have you seen it, Dante? No, I haven't seen it. I, wanted, I still want to do a live stream and do a drinking game and we can all get. Ooh, I would up. love to. That'd be fun. Just pop a little edible and watch it. Just watch it, and every we drink every time something you know bad I happens. Walk, crazy happens. I walked, I walked out of it. Really? Uh, did you? Really? 
I was so disappointed because the trailer was dope. I remember seeing the trailer for the movie. I was like, oh, the Avatar movie looks so amazing. It's going to be sick. And then all of a sudden, like five minutes in the movie, you're like, what happened? Oh, no. Ten minutes in, you're like. They pronounce everyone's name wrong, which I is that's so crazy. Kind of blessing. I mean, I auditioned for it. I think me, me, May, and Jack auditioned for it. Jack was actually really good. I think Jack almost got the Jack role. was very we don't really like to talk about it. But you I, been I, in that. I was close. I mean, I people wanted me. I don't know what happened. I was, you know, I remember with the cast and they're like, it's crazy because you're doing the it's lines better. It's and better. it's coming out. But then it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, it totally is. I kind of got upset at first because I didn't get it. Yeah. And then, they, then I heard yeah. like on like E! Entertainment, like, oh, Jesse McCarthy got the role of Zuko in the movie. And I was like, Whoa. Jesse McCarthy? <laughs> I don't know. But then it went Dev and I love Dev. And just, you know, I, I explained to fans out there and fans listening and upset about the movie. I, I know the movie's not what you wanted it to be, but it's hard to make a good movie. Like, period. I always tell fans, like, think about the last movies, the, all the movies you saw last year. Like, how many were actually good? So, yo, yeah, that, that, that one was, was a standout, that's for sure. Yeah. But the Elvis movie, the Elvis movie that just came out is Have phenomenal. Have you seen it? I I'm, going going tonight. That. I'm going tonight. I'm going tonight. One of the best movies ever made. Um, everything about it the, the editing, the acting, the music, the story. I actually went with Elvis's daughter the other night to see at least for me Presley, and she said it was ninety nine percent accurate. I mean, it's heavy, oh, wow. movie, beautiful. Like, Damn. So, the most, the most I'm excited. I'm, I'm going tonight. I'm going tonight after this podcast. You're gonna love it. Crazy cool. Elvis story. So Mas cool. A masterpiece, truly a masterpiece. The Elvis movie. Excited. I'm right. I'm writing this one man show, and one of the bits that keeps coming up is um throughout my life it's like it's happened like when I was young a kid at first I remember I was in an audition at Paramount and, and I'm reading the audition and then the cast member stops like hold on a second stop for a second you're reminding me of a young Asian Elvis Presley yes, yes. you got keep it. going and then yeah, and then like later and on in life, I'm like okay this is crazy and then I was doing a voiceover gig with uh Kevin Michael Richardson and all these other people JK Simmons we're all sitting in the room Dan Dana Delaney and we're all in the lobby waiting to do this thing. And Dan is kind of talking to us. And then I'm talking to Kevin. And then Dan's like, hold on a second. You remind me of a young Asian <laughs> Elvis Presley? And then, Dude. and then she walks out. Really? And Kevin starts cracking up and starts talking all kinds of madness. And then it just happened again, like during a movie I was doing. Really? It's like one of these weird things that like oh, this hair is this hair is working for you. That's too. probably so, thank yeah. you very much. Thank Especially you very much. You were young. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's that's, a, that's beautiful. You really do have that. I, I'm really close friends with the family, and now I, re I really, really see it energetically there you too. Go. You're you're the king, dude. You really are. <laughs> well, bro, are. We'll keep that energy going. We'll keep the energy going. Well, I, I like to call Dante the Golden Buddha, though. Too, you you you, you got like that golden touch. Anything you touch can become gold. Rub his belly. Rub yeah. his belly, Dante. <laughs> I love that. What a sweet little reunion it's been for you guys. Yeah, and, and thanks for you know, inviting me. Did you know that they? Yeah, you. Yeah, did you know that they have a podcast too? No, what's that podcast oh, about? Avatar? Yeah, I have, a, I have a podcast called Brave the Elements that I host with Janet Varney, the voice of Cora, and we just go through the every episode of uh, of of Avatar. We're in the middle of book two right now, and we have all the cast members come on different episodes, and the creators come on. We interview them, and Nickelodeon produces it. Nickelodeon iHeartRadio, and it's been fabulous to kind of go back on one of these things that you've done in your past and really deep dive like it's a really crazy experience you're like i don't remember doing any of this stuff we should we should do that with titans we should go back and watch you guys should movies. yeah that's such That'd a good cool. idea yeah you should got you guys should go back and watch them it's just fascinating like you remember that i'm like i don't know if i do remember doing that <laughs> so and plus you guys have a million episodes yeah it's such a good idea. Episode. Yeah, we really do need to do that with Warner Brothers. Yeah, so no, silly no. that we don't do that. It'd be well, so fun. I don't know that they'd like give money for a podcast that you only show up for half the time. Hey, hey I was once, a, was, once that money's on tape, you gotta show. I I mess up too. Let's. I no, I have. No, he has not been here the last four, and one That's of them true. showed up halfway through with a chick in his room massaging his feet. Half naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, Look, That's not great. Right. That's not on gonna brand. pass. F I have FCC. My, I have my reasons. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Um, all right. Well, we are almost at the end of the show. Unless you have anything else you want to contribute, Greg. Did we do uh, my favorite question yet? Yeah. We did it. 
Oh, cool. I guess I'll go back and watch it from, from the beginning. No, you won't. So, yes, I will. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. Mm-mm. This is one of my favorite episodes already. This is me getting angry at you, by Me way. too. <laughs> um, I, don't I, even have I, would not, I would not want this one angry at me, Greg. Yeah, I would not want this one angry at me. No, Tara's strong Just energy. Saying. No, 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 no. You don't want that. You see that? You see that bitch bus behind me? Mm. Mm-hmm. Now I turn to oh. powers, and you don't want to get pruned. Mm-hmm. Plus, she's pretty certain. powerful too. You know, she'll lose some magic on you. Yeah, yeah, Raven's Raven's intense for sure. Yeah, she is. Um, so we're coming to the end. So we have to let everybody tell everybody where they can find um y'all on social media, and also if you have anything that you want to promote or coming up or any charities that you love, now is the time. Olivia, mm. I'm going to start with you because that's where you are in the Zoom. <laughs> Um, find me on Instagram at the Olivia hack. And then I have uh, a new video game, uh, Harry Potter magic awakened coming out sometime this year. We don't know when, but it is coming out this year and that's it. I don't know. I'm easy. (laughs) All right, Jenny. Um, so Jenny Kwan, Instagram, Jenny underscore Kwan. And I, I think I'm on TikTok too. I think it's Jenny Kwan official. I need to practice the TikTok more. Um, as far as things coming no, TikTok. out, TikTok. <laughs> as far as things coming out, I just was. I now can say um, I am Chun Li in Street Fighter Six, so um, that's coming out. I think sometime in 2023, but I'm we're building up to it, and that's what I can talk about right now. So um, more things coming out. Then amazing. I'll Awesome. Yeah. Dante. Uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Dante Bosco, and then on TikTok at Dante, and uh, and you can check out my new film. I just I wrote and directed a film, my first my directorial debut. It's called The Fabulous yes. Filipino Brothers. Uh, yeah. Right now it's on Hulu. Represent. Lips. Represent. Yeah. It just dropped last month on for Asian Heritage Month on Hulu, so you can check it out on Hulu right now and. Uh, it's a it's a it's a crazy movie. All my brothers starring it with me. And it's called The Fabulous Filipino Brothers. So check that one out. That sounds I cool. Love that amazing. Like you've been amazing. This is like a very special um, show. Really special. Thank you. Thank you guys. I miss you guys. Thank I'm gonna go watch you know. Elvis Presley. Elvis. Go watch Elvis. Go watch Money. Elvis. But yeah, I man. can't wait. I hope everyone. We I hope to see everybody in real life soon. Everybody I here. Me I can't too. wait to see everybody in real life. And congrats me on all too. your successes. You're all just. Um, beautiful, amazing people, and I'm, I'm happy.